I'd like to think this is recording. I don't know. I hope it is. This is my video on privately held companies. A privately held company or close corporation is a business company owned either by non-governmental organizations or by a relatively small number of shareholders or company members which does not offer or trade its company stock shares to the general public on the stock market exchanges, but rather the company's stock is offered, owned, or traded, or exchanged privately. More ambitious terms for a privately held company are unquoted company and unlisted company. With that, let's begin. I would like you to just uh, have a look at Manta. Go to Manta.com or Google. Type in Manta and a plus sign. And then just type in, or copy and paste, Department of Emergency Service and Public Protection. And in the case of Connecticut, we'll see what the results are. The Department of Public Safety, that's where all of the people lined up in this photograph with all their papers and hands to register their guns and their ammunition feeding devices and their ammunition. This is who they are lining up to give those papers to and register their submission compliance and obeyance and this is who they are registering with the department of public safety at uh, 294 colony street in meridian connecticut is a privately held company a privately held company Companies like the Department of Public Safety usually offer law enforcement labor services, law enforcement medical services, law enforcement psychology, psychological services, law enforcement services, law enforcement support services, such as the State Police of Connecticut. And you will notice the State Police of Connecticut is also a privately held company. Now, when you go a little bit further, you'll understand that Reuben Bradford is commissioner of this private company. And you can go to any, let, let's just follow up here with the Lyme Police Department at Westbrook, Connecticut, and it also is a privately held company. Now you can go to the U.S. Pre-Trial Services in Wichita Falls, and you'll see that it is also a privately held company. Now, I have done a little bit of searching. We'll just follow back here a little bit. And you will see that all of these companies and legislative bodies like animal control your dog catcher let's just find out who they are in wichita falls texas a privately held company categorized under government offices city village and township with a staff of approximately five to nine with a katrina mitchell as administrator of this privately held company and you can also notice that the shop, the city shops, the city of Burknet Station 1, the Wichita Falls Transfer Station, all these companies are posing as your government, but they are in fact... 
privately held companies. Let's just see who the county government offices relay to, and you'll see the honorably honorable Woody, the honorable Woody, honorable Woody Gossam, the Veteran Service Center, the Wichita County Commissioner's Court. Let's just find out who they are, and you will see that Wichita Falls City County Commissioner's Court is a privately held company. And you will see they are directly related to the Wichita County Administration, the Wichita County Appraisals, Wichita County Civil Records, the Constable. Now you will see that Ray Gonzalez is listed as the manager of a legislative body incorporated as your government, but is in fact also a privately held company. You will find that this is pervasive and it is who owns the government. You'll go to uh, somebody like the Nihalem Valley resident deputy and you will see that this fellow is a privately held company in Seaside, Oregon categorized under county government offices. And you will see there is no name attached to this profile. So it is somebody's getting a paycheck. You can assure that somebody's getting a paycheck. And you will see in the government offices, city village or county government offices in Seaside. And you can go to Browse County. Oh, let's go a little bit farther. You can go to Bend, Oregon. And this is the same for every state, every county, every city. You go to the Deschutes County Surveyor. You'd think that this wouldn't be, but it is a privately held company in Bend, Oregon. The, the dog catcher, the animal control, the surveyor, the community development board, the Deschutes County Alcohol Program, the Deschutes County Council. Let's just find out who they are, and you will see they are a privately held company. And you can go a little bit farther down the page, and the county offices, the county legal department, the county offices, Deschutes County personnel, Deschutes County surveyor, voters registration, all of these, every last one of them is a privately held company. You can go to Bend, Oregon, and you will see that as well as privately held companies posing as government, you will find Pine Valley Plumbing, the Tumlo Animal Hospital, Palmer's Preschool, Nate's Public Portable Welding, you will notice that indeed, as soon as this page pops up, that it is a privately held company. It should be listed there report probably see they like to throw different tabs up to find out what you're really looking at done in Brad Street they're, well they're, they're gonna throw they want me to pay money to see what I want to show you here but you can assure yourself that it is a privately held company by that Mr. Ray. Revive Skin Services, Rosebud Ranch, The Gold, Bend, 